you the power of god i i don't know but there are people god is raising to become mighty vessels i just saw an anointing rest on you this role in the name of jesus i don't know where you are but i pray may that grace now let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension in the name of jesus christ welcome to christocentric message on this channel you are going to get soul lifting messages faith-based content prayer drills and videos that would help you grow spiritually you have won the victory that's why we make our boast all day long hallelujah he's won it all for you you have won it all for me sing it one more time with faith in your heart hallelujah hallelujah jesus he won the victory hallelujah When you desire a miracle, when you desire a breakthrough in your life, the first way into that miracle is an encounter with the Word of God. Every true miracle, every true breakthrough, every true blessing begins with an encounter. Listen to me, please. Pay attention to what I'm teaching you. You've been suffering for too long. Pay attention. Pay attention and get out of this thing. There is a way out. Others are testifying. You are the only one who is left. Pay attention and get out of this thing once and for all. There is a way of escape. There is a way of escape. The Bible says the labor of the fool weary yet every one of, of them because they do not know the road to the city. Not because there is no road. There is. There is. Your prayer point is already somebody's testimony. It means God is able. Hallelujah. If God has changed SS to AA and you are here seated with SS, is, is it such a big deal? Is it such a big deal? Or a job? Beyond your wildest imagination. So pay attention. An encounter with the word of God is the starting point of any miracle and now I, I will explain to you when we talk of an encounter with the word of God we are not just saying you read your Bible because you've been reading it for a long time we are not just talking of um, reading your Bible and, and looking at it wow I found this no an encounter means something happens to you there is a light that leaves that word the ministry of the word of God is the first way out of any predicament in life. Please get me. The ministry of the word of God. There are some of us here right now we are trusting God for jobs. And I know that if all of a sudden I announce now and I say our daddy prophets in this place, there are some of our, our fathers scattered around great influential men our fathers our mothers people who with one call can give you a job i say all those who want jobs come and stand here you greet daddy many of you will already be jumping you say i god bless koinonia but but do you know do you know do you know do you know that i told you about the illuminati and the secret societies right by the privileged position of being called into an apostolic ministry it affords me the opportunity to study other religions and study a lot of false activities of darkness not necessarily to pervert my faith but so that i can bring the body of christ into accuracy look up please don't let any man fool you i was teaching someone today i think it was pastor femi listen 
every one successful person who has been empowered by the devil please listen to me everybody who has been empowered by the devil had an encounter with something that represented him are you getting my point i shared with you about the 2300 ancient manuscript that they found that it had magical powers upon it that if you only took that book and just read the title alone fortunes will begin to follow you there are people on earth today with those evidences those secret societies recruit people they select people specially every year and it's by divination they select them so when they select you they get across to you you will not know how but they will call you they'll say you have hereby been invited your life is about to change they don't ask you whether you believe them or not they give you access to read some of those materials you step out immediately and you will see calls coming alerts coming opportunities look at me if you ever think prosperity is just about job or business you are joking there is a spiritual agency that makes things work in the natural are you getting what i'm saying this this is what this is what i've been crying about for years that the body of christ get it's not just about physical things there is a spiritual factor that makes things work is somebody learning something an encounter with the word releases something people just read a book right and something comes upon them they cannot explain all of a sudden they come out and you are drawn to withdraw money and give them just like that all of a sudden you stand up and begin to advocate their case what, what sort of life is that look they that know their god they are the ones who will be strong it's not about age listen it's not it's not even entirely just about education and i have a great deal for academia and, and all of that but let me tell you there is a reality that predates our existence and if you do not know it you will be a victim in this life psalm 82 from verse 5 the bible says they know not neither will they understand i have spent my life studying the laws of the spirit i have literally committed my life to explore these ancient mysteries what was the secret of ancient men what made them mighty what made them great and I found out that every mighty man then and now stands upon a spiritual advantage there is a pedestal in the spirit that sponsors their audacity is someone hearing what I'm saying you don't just tell somebody be healed and he gets healed brothers and sisters human beings are not idiots are you hearing what i'm saying i can't just look at this lady and say your story will change and then it changes come on i prophesied as i was commanded i prophesied as i was commanded see this is the dynamics of miracles i'm explaining to you the inner workings of the miraculous it happens because all that you see is not all that there is this realm is a three-dimensional realm physics tells us and is limited the realm of the spirit has other dimensions meaning there are other possibilities beyond the scope of our intellect are you getting what i'm saying yes this is the realm of wisdom that kings reign by he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice he said with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness tonight is not just for you to receive a miracle but to empower you that when you make a statement there is an understanding that forces that statement to come to pass hallelujah when you talk to people about finances the first idea that comes to their mind is business is that not true what business okay real estate okay stocks okay this and that i've said it again and again again and again that 
I don't care what business you do or what job you are having. You will struggle forever until there is a spiritual factor that is at work. Are you getting me? Yes. The Bible says you have an unction from the Holy One. He said that unction can teach you. Isaiah 48 from verse 17. He says, I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee to profit and lead you in the way that you should go. There is an anointing. This heat and run trial and error life must end tonight. We can walk circumspectly on the strength. Listen, you can be 70 years old and have an error about life for that long. Are you getting me? A whole nation can be wrong. Our society, we transfer knowledge upon the strength of what we know or what we have been told. When man ran away from God, he said, Adam, where are thou? Genesis 3. He says, the Lord had the talking spirit, the voice of God walking in the cool of the day. And he said, Adam, where are thou? He said, I heard thy voice, but I hid because I was naked. He said, who told you? Meaning your life is a summation of the informations you have gotten and you have believed. But could it be that what you have held as truth all your life may not necessarily be accurate. Taught by well-meaning people. There is the life of the kingdom and there is the life of this world system, cosmos. We are not the same. It says you are in the world, but you are not of the world. There is a plane of reality you must function for. Hallelujah. So number one, an encounter with the world. You need an encounter with the world. The word of God does three things among many other things. Please write. Number one, the word of God shows you the basis upon which you will receive any promise. The word of God shows you the basis. The realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Everybody say legal realm. So, you don't just, you can play crooks in the earth realm here, but not in the realm of the spirit. Everything is done legally and legitimately. If you ever see anything manifest itself, certain laws were applied. Praise the Lord. So, the word of God shows you the basis. Remember in our, our series, uh, the teaching, Give Me This Mountain. I teach about the spiritual dimension of life that there are gates on every mountain everybody say there are gates on every mountain when you get to that mountain of breakthrough there are gates it will not just open because you are a christian when jesus in psalm 24 was about to come out from the grave the bible says there were gates the psalmist saw it it said lift up your head O ye gates and be lifted, O ye ancient doors. Did they open? No, sir. They asked a question. Who is this king of glory? Give us the basis of your audacity. Upon what are you standing? And he says, he is the Lord, strong and mighty. The one who just defeated darkness. And the gates open. So when you stand to receive the miracle, oh God, change my story from SS to AA. There will be a question in the spirit. Upon what strength? That's the parable that Jesus was giving. The parable, right, of two men who built houses. One upon sand, the other upon a rock. Two houses were built, but what supported them became the distinguishing factor. Praise the Lord. The basis. It's important for you to know the basis. Let me tell you very straight and uh, in, a, in a way that does not require any confusion. Everybody writes, the finished work of Christ. This is the basis. This is the reason. It is the one master factor. The finished work of Christ. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Many of us need to meditate on what he really did for us. Do you know that it is on the strength of what happened on the cross? The way, access, the veil has been torn and it's given us access. Access. Revelations 5. 
Revelations 5. Verse 9. Very quickly. Please let's hurry up so that we can do much tonight. Revelations 5. And they sang a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. It says, For thou wast slain and you have redeemed us unto God. How? By thy blood. That's the basis. The substitutionary work of Christ. I told you, you can get our teaching the speaking blood. I told you blood is a key in the spirit. Is that true? Blood is a key in the spirit. Everybody's blood can open certain doors, but not every door. That's why when you go to a herbalist, he will, he will calculate by divination and tell you the kind of blood that will open the gate you want. So the blood of Jesus is the greatest because it is the master key. There is no door that it cannot open. It says, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, verse 10. It says, and has made us unto our God kings and priests. And as a result, we shall reign. Everybody say dominion. He has given us access to dominion. Access to dominion. Praise the Lord. So when you study the word of God, it gives you the basis. So when you stand and say, I'm tired of this cancer, or I'm tired of this barrenness, it's been five years, I've not been able to take in. The realm of the spirit will ask you, so upon what now do you believe you will take in? And you tell them there is a key that has opened that door. There is a key. The blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. Everybody say the blood of Jesus is my access to my inheritance. One more time. Say the blood of Jesus is my access to my inheritance. You're not just saying it after me. You are confessing. Say the blood of Jesus is my access to my inheritance. Hallelujah. That's the reason why you will get married. That's the reason why the devil must leave tonight. That's the reason why the genotype must change. That's the reason why every prophetic word that comes upon you must produce result. That's the reason why as many of you standing outside, although you are far, but the ministry of that blood can still speak. Hallelujah. I believe in the power of the blood of Jesus. Not just because preachers said the blood is powerful. I have a revelation of the significance of the blood. Revelation is powerful. It produces true faith in your spirit. So that you are not believing blindly. You are believing upon the strength of an understanding. So the blood of Jesus is your basis for receiving breakthroughs. And when we stand up to pray and we begin to challenge the gates of hell. You don't stand weak. And you are wondering and say, do you know nobody in my family has crossed this barrier? You say, well, I couldn't cross it, but that blood created a divide and I must walk past it. Look, let me tell you. The Bible says, let me show you something. Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah. Let's look at Isaiah. Isaiah, help me Holy Spirit. Isaiah 41 verse 21. I saw this scripture in 2004 and it changed my life. Isaiah 41, 21. Everybody read. One to read. Look, God is speaking like a judge in a law court. Are you getting me? He said, produce your cause. He said, bring forth your strong reason. Give me a scriptural basis to bless you justify your qualification to step into a new level you don't say that just by jacking yourself you lift up the blood and say this is my basis this is my basis upon the strength of what your son did he has given me access to health he has given me access to the blessing of the Lord praise God Number two, 
an encounter with the word of God brings you to agree with God it brings you to agree with God we call that listen we call that alignment and transformation alignment and transformation somebody come please look for that scripture for me with God all things are possible right somebody come anybody watch this an encounter with the word of God remember I told you in our teaching yes um, last week right the reality of what spiritual laws I told you that no man can activate any law by himself is that true a spirit entity either the Holy Spirit or another spirit must work with you so in the realm of the spirit partnership is the order of things you cannot do anything alone either a demon spirit or the spirit of God must assist you so the Bible says you've, you're here to find it Matthew Matthew 19 26 media are you getting my point now the problem with many people is that we are far apart this is where God is standing this is God's mindset right he says as far as the heavens are above the earth so are my thoughts my ways is that true so this is God standing and he's saying come and join me but she's standing here and saying Lord I need you to help me and God is saying it's against the law you have to find come I supply grace you take advantage of that grace and come when we are together so the Bible says with God come with God all things become possible so without God nothing becomes possible so that cancer with God becomes possible you see that are you getting my point that admission with God the Bible says with God so koinonia miracle service with God will produce result the, 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 this is the mystery this is the mystery of impact with God. Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. The Bible says he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed. Why? For God was with. The Bible says, and the Lord walking with them. This is the mystery. Divine assistance coming into God's realm. You no longer become an enemy of your own destiny. And we call that alignment and transformation. That's one of the major ministries of the word. So the word of God begins to advocate a superior mindset. Higher and greater than the ideology you've held on to. It may be cultural. It may be intellectual. Right? It may be societal. But when the word of God begins to judge you. It shows you the excellency of God's own mindset. And it's up to you to say, Lord, although this is all I've believed my, all my life. For instance, there are people who are here with certain terminal diseases and they have been told. They've lived all their lives believing. They didn't even come for the miracle service for that specific case to be healed. They came for something else. Right? Because according to their mind, it has not yet become a possibility that God can address that issue. But when he looked at the tomb where Lazarus had been buried, he said, roll away the stone. Prove that I can raise Lazarus back by you going to open up that case that you have closed. Praise the Lord. I believe God. I'm a believer. I truly believe him. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. It says, lean not on your own understanding. The next verse says, in all your ways, not some. It didn't say, talk to him. It says, acknowledge him. You acknowledge a man by giving him preference. It says, and as a result, he will direct your path. Next verse says, be not wise in your own understanding. It says, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Hallelujah. Very important. So, with God, this lady may be weak unable to do anything but with God with God 
she may be broke suffering nothing is working but all of a sudden she comes and she finds out that there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. She begins to learn the ways of God that he can open up the heavens. That it is the blessing of the Lord. Not your business. It is the blessing. The blessing makes everything you do prosper. That's why it says whatsoever he doeth prospers. So it's not about what you are doing. It's about the spiritual factor that supports what you are doing. So, with God, with God, she suddenly becomes powerful. All of a sudden, doors of favor open up to her because she has chosen to leave her old mindset and come to God. Listen to me, tonight, the first miracle you need to have is to give up on your ideologies and say, Lord, I'm tired because your life is a reflection of your ideologies. I don't care what the situation is. I told us last week that your environment will eventually become a reflection of what your belief system and your ideology he said let this mind Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 let this mind the word let there is permit permit this mind please I know that you came from Kaduna state and Kaduna state there may be a way you thought about in your village I know that you came from from the east and there is a way that they thought I know that you come from the west I know that you come from Katsina tonight will you choose to become a citizen of the kingdom by adopting the ideologies of the king subscribe to a new government every government has an economic system every government has a political system every government has a welfare system if you've been evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more shall your heavenly father? But that law is only operational for the sons of the kingdom. Hallelujah. The word of God brings you into alignment. Listen, when I begin to study the word of God, or when she begins to study the word of God, and she finds out that there is an ideology that she has that fights against the word of God, you will be foolish to argue with the word of God. The word of God predates our existence. It has been tried through dispensations. The word of God is a description of his character. His operation with man. And I told you that the efficacy of the word transcends Genesis 1. It's beyond that. It predates Genesis 1. I told you Genesis 1 is not the first creation. We've, we've settled that, right? Job 38. Those of you who are just coming... This is Koinonia. Get the series. Hallelujah. There, there is a lot of creation. Genesis 1, uh, Isaiah 38 begins to give us how the foundation of the earth was created. Praise the Lord. The question I'm asking you is, I know you want God to bless you, but could it be that the devil that needs to go out today is not the one in your village? Is the one that has stayed in your mind like a stronghold. The Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. To what? The pulling down of strongholds, casting down every yazar, imagination, and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ, and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. Praise the Lord. So we have been given a poverty mentality as Africa. We have been taught that until you are 25 or 30, don't think about finances, don't think about blessing, don't think about empowerment. And you are told that you are too young to carry the power of God, or you are a lady, you shouldn't carry the power of God. These are the ideologies that cosmos markets to us, but you must refuse it. Say, I refuse. Shout it, I refuse. I refuse. Mm. You must refuse it. You must refuse it. Who told you you were naked? Who told you you were naked? I honor the doctors, but do you know that there are many people who, are, who have several sicknesses, but it never affects them because they do not have a medical report to validate it. You went to check headache. They said, my brother, this thing is more than headache. You mean you would have died now? We have a lot of doctors here. Doctors, I love you. Praise the Lord. But now when you check and they tell you, huh, 
do you know that your liver is almost in fact you say you you mean it hi from that time your liver starts paining you physically right and then the doctor tells you you have two weeks to live all of a sudden somebody says there's an opportunity god is lifting us they let him lift you there i'm dying i believe the report of the lord i believe the report of god. see listen you don't see with your eyes you see through your eyes there is a spiritual agency for sight you only see through these physical eyes it's not what you see with they are just the physical components that enable your true spiritual eye to see and paul prayed that that eyes be flooded with light praise the lord so we need alignment that's why you can pray for people pray for them lay hands on them do whatever you want to do did you know that sometimes you finish praying and then the people walk right back because their mindset betrays what god wants to do in their lives that's what happened to the nation of israel right everything you have told moses we will do oh, after two weeks they say kai a, a delegation comes and they say moses we, we need an explanation and bring Baal, make something for us that we can see. This mysterious God who comes with smoke, we don't know this one. Please, make something we know. They limited God in the wilderness. A man's mindset can limit God as mighty as he is. I refuse to limit you. I refuse. Number three. The word of God, an encounter with the word of God shows you your part of the deal. It shows you the part you have to play to commit God to a performance. Never forget this. There is a part that you have to play, brothers and sisters. Every promise in scripture requires a partnership on your own part. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1. It says, if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command thee this day. Right? And then it talks about um, you being exalted above all the nations and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. If there is a condition. Isaiah 1.19 If ye be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Not if ye be hungry and desperate. If ye be what? Willing. There is a condition there is a condition there are always conditions so an encounter with the word reveals to me my part of god's prosperity package lord you want to bless me what is my role right i want to step into levels of the anointing the word of god shows me is see reading the word is like walking in your promised land it says walk left and right see everything as far as your eyes have seen so you read studying the word of god is like touring your promised land and you come back and say lord as i read i found this and that and god says all right here's the condition everything is yours for a taking you can enter a restaurant immediately you enter the restaurant you see a lap of an ugly chicken and you start smiling but you came there with 100 naira there is a condition you want to be a possessor you want to make that thing become a present reality there is a price tag nobody stops you there's no policeman to stop you but you can watch it like a museum and salivate and watch right and nothing happens you may be 30 years but a little baby will come with his father and he say mommy i like this and whatever he likes keep giving it to him the container did not refuse to open your part i know you are laughing because i spoke about food but get the revelation because the issue in your life is more than food praise god oh god change my story god says come let me show you your part of the deal he said god i don't want you are you have died for me mm -mm. listen 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 making the word of god work in your life 
making that which he has done to work in your life will require a participation on your own part. Please understand this. Praise the Lord. Are we following? So these three things. Tonight, as you are seated here, there are some of us, the reason why certain levels of breakthrough have not come into our lives is because we have not been able to support our claims in prayer with a basis. You have, you have always every power challenging me. You better leave. Because of what? Why should they leave? Do you know what brought them in the first place? They were there before you were born. So I came to Koinonia. Every demon, I'm tired of you. <laughs> That's not what drives them. You, you don't, they don't go because you are tired. 38 years, that man was lying down at a pool. That wicked spirit did not say, Kai, 37, 38. Oh yeah, let me allow you. You have tried. You would have remained there forever. In five minutes. Five minutes. Meaning time does not change anything. Light is what changes things. It will change tomorrow. You are wasting your time. Arise and shine. Not because you are tired of sitting. Isaiah 60. For thy light is come. Hmm. Are you getting blessed? So there are some of us here. What you need is to understand a revelation of what Jesus Christ has done. You think the reason why you may get everything is because you are bold or because you are praying. It's not that. There is a revelation. The blood of Jesus. For years I heard Reinhard Bonke talk about the blood of Jesus so much. He, he equated blood and fire. And I didn't, I couldn't quite get it. Until I found out that blood was a key in the spirit. That's why every religion has blood as part of their company. This is the one factor that every religion agrees upon. Blood. Hallelujah. And there are some of us here. The problem is our mindset. God wants to bless us. He wants to lift us. But there is a mindset. Oh, I'm a lady. Oh, I'm coming from so so and so. I cannot even speak English. Oh, this and that and that and that. I've not even gotten admission. Or, oh, me, I just want a little this. Oh, I'm a that and that. Huh? Oh God, I want you to bless me, but it must happen through NMPC. If you are Lord, it must happen through NMPC. They limited God. You are asking God for a cup and he wants to give you an ocean. Hallelujah. That's the problem with the body of Christ. Our faith is what I call auxiliary faith. Faith that is standing on something. Tied to the neck of your uncle. So every time you say, Lord, bless me, what you mean is press that uncle's neck until he responds to me. Your faith is not really standing upon the word of God. Your faith, every time you say, Lord, I, 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 I know you are changing my story. What you are simply saying, oh Lord, I know my uncle will not sleep until my... No, no, no. Why don't you give him the option to bring the strategy? And you say, Lord, I don't care how it will be done. I may not see wind. I may not see rain. But one thing I know, because let me tell you, your strategy is most of the time carnal, but his strategy becomes spiritual. When he gives you a strategy, it may look foolish, but that's the way he has chosen it. Right? Go around Jericho. That's the strategy. Oh, I'm already ahead of myself. The second way to receive a miracle, or the second platform now, first is an encounter with the word of God. Second is the ministry of prayer. The ministry of prayer is part of the equation to receiving a miracle. There must be the ministry of prayer. It does two things. Number one, prayer challenges the forces of darkness fighting against the manifestation of the promise in your life. Ephesians 6 verse 12. The Bible clearly tells us that we are not alone in this world. We have strangers who are trying to escort us every day, every time. Wicked spirits stratified in different cadres right so you are always not alone the devil attempts to seek entrance into different dimensions of your life and given the opportunity he will wreck your life the goal to mock the testimony of god in your life praise the lord so there are giants on every mountain please don't let anybody fool you there are giants on every mountain if you get into a mountain and the door is already open, somebody already killed the giants, but there were giants there. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. 
the stratification of the demonic kingdom. So between you and your breakthrough, there are giants. It takes the ministry of prayer. Hallelujah. When you pray, you authorize heaven to look into your situation. Because God is not committed to step into your situation without your asking him to. Genesis 1.26 From the day he said, let them have dominion. But God is supposed to know now, doesn't he love me? Well, it will not change. The bones kept staring at Ezekiel until something happened. Praise the Lord. You come for miracle service and you find out that as the word is coming like this, there are still people seated, oppressed of demons. Right? Some of these demons are hearing what I'm saying now. They are just shaking, but they are not going yet. Let's see if we will go. Must we really go? Yes. By the time we begin to pray, we activate the energy, the force. Right? It's a force of compliance. It brings everything to the obedience of Christ. So that's why you need to pray. You pray to command the forces of darkness that are stopping your access to bow. Number two, this is an even greater reason why we pray. Prayer reveals the exact and the unique strategy to bring the promise to manifestation. Please never forget this. When you pray in the place of prayer, God reveals to you his unique strategy for you. So you have walked through scripture and you have seen that God has told you that you are to walk in breakthrough. But now, the Bible may not give you the nitty gritty of what to do in your unique situation. Prayer. When you begin to pray, the Spirit of God begins to search the mind of God concerning your situation. And the Bible says how that he searches all things and he prays according to the will of God. So you begin to pray and then the Lord tells you, okay, now this is the strategy. You are going to meet Benga. Benga will introduce you to Femi. And Femi will introduce you to prof. That's how the miracle will come. It is a strategy for only you. Somebody will do it and fail. Are you seeing why prayer is powerful? This is, this is, am I blessing you? In my opinion, I think this is already a miracle for somebody. I'm showing you the loopholes. Some of us have seen the promise. You have agreed with God. But the problem is the strategy. Kalabaka. In ancient times, kings won war not on the strength of their army, but the dexterity of their strategy. Strategy, strategy, strategy. So Joshua stood still and God began to give him the strategy. He said, Joshua, this is how we we'll throw this wall down. Walk around seven times. Did you ever see that repeated in the Bible? Because it was a strategy. Right? He told Gideon, take the people by the riverside and let them take water. Study the way they take water. You will use it as a separation. Strategy. Somebody has come tonight to receive strategy. Lord, how do I complete this house? You calculated your salary. Based on your salary, it will take 10 years. And God says, I can show you a strategy. The Bible says, then was the secret revealed unto Daniel. A wicked king slept in the night, dreamt and forgot it and was going to punish people for his forgetfulness. Right? And a man called Daniel. One of the greatest prayers that I've been praying in this season is Lord's strategy. It is all about strategy, I'm telling you. God will show you something that does not make sense, but is his strategy for you. Everyone will do it and fail, but it's what you will do. Hallelujah. So you look at that business and you are praying and God will say, uh-uh, my strategy for you is take that business out of where you are. Take it to another place. Isaac already knew he had the blessing upon him, but he needed a strategy. Right? That's why every time kings would fight, they would go and inquire, what is the strategy for this war? They will not use yesterday's strategy for today's war. They will fail woefully. And so they will go, should I pursue? And the Lord will say, this is how it will happen. Like in the days of Jehoshaphat. Put worshippers in front. Other times he said, walk around seven times. Other times he said, just be still. Get a stone and sit down and watch what I will do. Strategy. Question. The strategy you are using for your life now, who gave you? 
I saw another man do it, you see. He just went and started selling tomato. You see, it, it, God said he would bless you. But what drove you into it? I, I, a man must work. Don't stop those kind of demonic thinking. There must be a strategy. Oh Lord, change my story. I think I'll start selling shoes. Just like that. Just like that. The Bible says, as they began to pray, the Holy Ghost said, separate me Paul and Barnabas. If they were to choose, they would have carried somebody else. Right now, when we begin to pray, I am convinced that God will begin to reveal strategies for people. Mm. Strategies on how to make the rain work. Some of you, listen, students, there are students here that all you need is one strategy. There is a course. Everybody has told you this course. And you are face to face with that Goliath. You've been running away, but right, you are there now. You need a strategy. Hallelujah. There are some of you, maybe your project, a supervisor may be difficult. And God can give you a strategy. The strategy may not necessarily be a direct revelation from the spirit. It can be light. A one scripture in in your spirit as you are praying oh god what do i do about this my supervisor suddenly a scripture comes the gift of a man makes a room you quickly go and package wine not to bribe the man you are responding to a strategy ordinarily he would have thrown you out with your wine but because you are doing it as a strategy you will laugh and say why did you have to do that what is even your name you have been disturbing me it's a strategy You will see men do foolish things that don't make sense. That's what God told us. When, when we wanted to start giving access to our messages, I went to the Lord and the Lord told me, He said, make sure you do not sell any message. Keep the videos, give out the MP3s. That's the strategy. Right? You may do it for your ministry and you will lose a lot of money. The blessing God has tied for your ministry, you would, but, but it is a strategy. It's a strategy. When I said, Lord, what is the key to the publicity and the increase and the expansion of this ministry in terms of membership? God gave me a strategy. It's not a secret. Mark 1, 2, 3. You may apply it and it may not work for you. But that's what the Lord gave. And this is the mystery behind what you see. I'd like you, as you are seated, before we stand up to pray, in one minute speak to the Lord. What is the strategy? Lord, my family has been struggling over this issue for years. Every time they want to build, there is no money. What is the strategy? Please take what I'm saying seriously. One strategy can change your situation. Not just a strategy you read from a book. One strategy. There is an easier way of doing it. That you have not seen it does not mean it's not there. Why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporal. In 24 hours, by the strategy of the Spirit, He gave victory. Please pray. God has shown you your destiny helper, but He's not paying attention to you. One strategy will answer the question. Pray. God has shown you the business He wants you to do, but as it is, you try and try. You need strategy. It's not like you didn't hear God. The ministry of prayer. You have been reading and reading. You did well in 100 level. 200 level. By 300 level you started moving back. Because you need to change strategy. You need to go to his majesty. To show you. Strategy 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 please pray for your ministry sister you don't need all the money you think you need what you need is a strategy from the spirit believe me you have tried every idea you know you have tried everything they have told you why don't you cry before God come on now pray koinonia Reveal unto me the strategy. My family is suffering. There is witchcraft in my family. They have vowed. But my father will not listen. What is the strategy? 
for the deliverance of my family everybody in my family is an unbeliever but i've seen in visions and dreams that they will all be saved between the promise and the manifestation what is the strategy lord i've applied for job everywhere civil defense immigration everywhere what is the strategy hallelujah strategy the last thing i'll talk about when we stand up we're going to do a quick walk very very quick walk the last step towards the manifestation of a miracle is that you must take action take action i want everybody to listen to me carefully because god is about to speak to us in a very definite way now i hope you are being blessed so far take action there are two enemies of action that are found from scripture number one fear fear everybody say fear fear is a dangerous and wicked spirit there are multi-millionaires sitting listening to me now but fear has stopped them from taking action there are many families you would have finished building your house since not just a bungalow that will kill you there are people seated here if you took the step god told you last year you would have been feeding your family this year fear tonight i'm showing you all the things that there is work to do tonight are you getting my point everybody shout i reject fear, I reject fear. oh fear does not respect age children fear adults fear great men fear macho men fear intelligent people fear right now africa is afraid nigeria is afraid many people are afraid the dollar is crashing everybody is afraid you don't know what to do right there's fear everywhere when the devil when god tells you get up and build the house this year that house must be built and all you have is hundred thousand and you calculate and you find out that the building will cost seven million and you're laughing you say god don't disgrace me let the people in the village not say i'm stupid take action listen the bible says this sign shall follow not go before you will never see the hand of god till you stand up and move this is somebody's this is a word from god to someone you have refused to move fear you wrote jam nine times you didn't get it god is saying this time you will get it say i'm not ready i better go to the restaurant and eat food with that money see that fear are we getting blessed let's look at two scriptures second timothy 1 verse 7 second timothy 1 verse 7 please help us media let's really hurry up we have to hurry up because we have some prayer to do are you seeing the things that are limiting us truly i am determined this year to see that every one of us has a testimony if nothing changes in your life this year then it's your fault but as far as the principles that will guarantee for you to experience the rain by the grace of god i will do my best for god had not given us the spirit of fear put your name there just that first clause one to read One more time. Praise the Lord. There are many of our loved ones. 45 years. Brother, are you ready to get out of your father's house? I preached a message in 2008. It was a classic. Come out of your father's house. Thought provoking message to challenge people to leave their comfort zone. There are some of us, 30, 35, 40. We are still a big liability to our parents at home. Or God come out and say, what I have now is 20,000. Come out. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have sown seeds, you are giving. Look, let me tell you, if I am a father, my, when my child gets to a certain age, one day, he will just come and say, young man, in the name of Jesus, I release the blessing upon you. Go out. Out. That's it. I'm, I'm very serious. See, you need to push yourself out of your comfort zone this year it's not just to say it's the year of the rain stand up and take action 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? Change, change what you have been doing. Kill fear. Take action and die doing it. Queen Esther, God took her to the palace. God removed Vashti and brought her for the salvation of Israel. But when Mordecai spoke to her, her man is plotting against these people. You better go and meet the king. She said, ah, please, oh, me too. He's, he's, he's bring, they brought me here. Please, I'm not ready to face any embarrassment. And Mordecai said, sit down there in fear. Paraphrasing. Sit down there. When they finish with us, the Jews, they will now say, all of you in this palace, bring your bio data. And they will find out you are a Jew too and they will kill you. And she said, if I perish, I perish. This is the year some of us are going to say, if I, I'm writing that jam again. Is God speaking to somebody? I'm writing that jam again. This is the year. But I tried the business, I failed. You will do it again this year. Master, we have cast, he said, we have cast the net of, how do you put it now? Right? We have toiled all night. He said, nevertheless, I die. I was going to get married. The person even did introduction. Later he called and he said he's not doing it again. And now one godly brother is saying, I'm serious. He said, you look like that guy. Stand up and take action. Otherwise you sit down and not get married all your life. In the name of Jesus, you will take action this year. Praise the Lord. There are some of us, God is speaking. Fear. Fear. Do you know fear puts people in bondage? more people die there are many sicknesses today that are as a result of fear and worry is that true what you are afraid of has not happened but you are you are almost dying from today now people have started running out of zaria for instance you can go if you want to go what are... <laughs> of course i'm not teaching you to be careless and just roam around but, but oh, come on now people fear everything you are sleeping in the night you just light maybe it's the cloth you hung that just tilted in a way say I, I don't like the way this cloth why is it tilting and coming back who is there <laughs> fear fear has made people to say yes when they would have said no and they committed themselves into things you have no business committing yourself fear one of my friends father listen true story one of my friend's father, they would have been the earliest people to start pure water business in Nigeria. When God gave him that idea, it was in a full gospel businessmen's fellowship. Right? The idea came and he laughed. Thai water, haba. Who will pay for water? Are we idiots? There is stream, there is sun, there is light, there is stove to warm water. And he refused to take action. And certain people took action. Do you think those who took the action are, are crying now? This year, you must take a handkerchief as you are crying the movie. Are you getting my point? You must challenge that devil. You have not broken through certain barriers. Nobody has ever crossed to the university in your family. Now you finish secondary school, for instance, and you are about to take that step, and, and everybody said, just, you have tried. You got diploma in, in, in software application. Are you not okay? You are ahead. Yet, every time you sleep, you see a PhD. And the devil is telling you cannot move tonight we have come to call that devil a liar in the name of jesus christ say i will take action say i will take action that's right the second thing that stops action is laziness everybody say laziness my goodness our time is gone laziness very important proverbs chapter 10 verse 4 please proverbs 10 verse 4 and then later on, we'll look at Proverbs 22, verse 13. Media, please don't forget. Proverbs 10, verse 4. There are some of us, the demon that needs to fly out of our life today, not jump out, fly out and never return, is that spirit of laziness, that inertia to move forward. Some of us, sheer laziness. The Bible says, He become a poor that dealeth with what? You never stay around me and you become lazy. I have zero tolerance for lazy people. A young man of 30 years, by 11, 30, 12, he's still snoring on the bed. You will beg for bread, for sure. 
there is no amount of fasting that will change that if you don't change it there are many lazy people we like a wolf free things look let me tell you there is a place for diligence if you must see the rain fall upon you this year are we getting blessed he become a poor that deals with a slack hand but the hand of the diligent does what there are some of you you are experts at begging day and night you beg everybody right please Ross I beg you get 5k help me next time sister sorry I'm just knowing you don't be embarrassed I need 2k you you degrade yourself because of this devilish attitude of laziness there are grasses in people's houses to go and weed there are things to do but you get up and believe you're a big boy big boy with nothing in your pocket you calm down don't try to look successful pay the price and be successful hallelujah are you getting blessed you must reject laziness there are some students you see how some students live you think you think that they are professors right 10 or 11 exams is in one week and you see the person just strolling with his boxers go and fetch a, 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 a bucket of water lazily he cannot even wait at the tap he will turn somebody else's water drag himself to the bathroom come out 30 minutes later huh dirty boxers dirty singlets you can't wash it laziness all around you can't get up and sweep your room and some of our sisters are like that who do you want to marry tall dark and handsome he must be a millionaire you think god doesn't have sense he said do not be deceived god cannot be mocked whatsoever a man sows there are many people see look let me tell you sometimes you may see me you see some of the things we are doing and you just don't be deceived by this this ever water if you want it come and carry it there is it there is more than this are you getting my point first thing tomorrow morning we are leaving for katsina it takes work it's not just anointing it takes diligence please you need to talk to yourself and say this year the spirit of laziness i curse you out of my life curse you out of my life an assignment you can do now you sit down and say i will do it on wednesday you get zero right another assignment you get zero they just they they saw the question in class they say just copy it and get 10 marks they say i will do it later on look procrastination you must attack it this year hallelujah you are working in the office of your boss because you think you come for koinonia and the person you are working for is here it's no guarantee to be lazy i will fire you i employ you you are not doing what i employ in the name of jesus i will fire you and you will come back and you will hear me preach absolutely absolutely there is truly no food for a lazy man let me tell you the truth you must get up and and be serious about your destiny and work there are some of us this year you have no business with relationship if you are passing and you see any beautiful lady just say blood of jesus and pass because this year is a year to you your own reign is coming to give you grace to stand up no responsible parent will give a daughter to somebody who doesn't know where he's going are you hearing what i'm saying very important but i believe that as we contend tonight in this miracle service it's going to be a very fast walk for me i think this this is it happening to you if if we close right now i believe that you would have left with something many of us here belong to this category this laziness category right because social media facebook twitter has and 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 bbm has massaged our life of laziness something you can get up and do you see a lot of people just to walk from one place to the other you are taking a bike huh? laziness it's not like you are in a hurry for anything you just load your phone and sit down in the afternoon you are not working you are not doing anything you are a liability to everybody around you and you are just you are you are sending yarrow boys as a student for instance to go and buy you mr biggs 
four or five thousand they bring everything you lie down with phone that you force out of your father or mother and you are making calls in the daytime even a worker is not doing that you ping your life out and the person you are pinging is in the office making money you are there struggling the day you call him he stops responding to you please don't be a liability to anybody this year whoever has been ignoring you is because you are becoming a pest rise up and begin to be hard working and you will become friends again are you hearing what i'm saying especially for the brothers brothers say amen. amen let me talk to you for one minute before we start praying this year please please something must change there are some people sir five years six years no job not because they they have never taken their cv anywhere yeah, but my uncle said it now that uncle said it's wicked you came to stay in your friend's house when you stayed in his house he was a student he graduated served and is working you are still staying in his house he has gotten a job you are still staying in his house whoever that friend is drive that person out after miracle service tell him in the name of jesus christ i appreciate you three years is enough time for you to sit down get koinonia messages 2012 13 14 it will liberate you please out of my house sometimes you need to push some people into their breakthrough over pampering destroys hallelujah over pampering destroys there are times you need to get up and challenge yourself they send you money in two weeks you already calling again laziness you won't do anything you hear that there is scholarship free there are many graduates many graduates you win is out they won't apply i think it finished today they won't do anything you said god told you you'll be an entrepreneur huh? and you are not doing anything you've never gotten up to go for any seminar to build yourself you see a seminar you reject it you are not watching anything on youtube you are not going to sit and learn under people you are just sitting down bragging around with nonsense that's what a lot of young people are doing around huh? god blesses you with fifty thousand that can start something that can bless you you use it and buy a suit to prove a point to the people who are busy building their destinies they are not even seeing the point you must change this year in the name of jesus christ fear and laziness we are going to pray three serious prayer points the moment we pray these three prayer points tonight we'll start with the sick people we'll start ministering to the sick people as soon as we pray the three prayer points please begin to write your prayer requests while we minister those outside can you shout hallelujah one more time shout hallelujah the lord will visit you in a mighty way in jesus name praise the lord rise up on your feet and let's pray success is not automatic there are laws there are laws this is our year of the rain god has spoken to us shown us the loopholes lift your hands and begin to thank god for this word tonight he that he loves he chastises bless his name bless his name lift your hands inside and outside bless the name of the lord thank you father for this word it has come to clean me up it has come to purify me it has come to challenge me hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord prayer point number one say after me in the name of jesus please say it like you believe it in the name of jesus i receive grace to align my mindset to that of the word of god every thinking pattern every thought process that is not of god i challenge you in the name of jesus lift your voice and begin to pray father give me the mindset of victory i'm tired of carrying ideologies some of us have ideologies about church we have ideologies about praying in tongues ideologies about the holy spirit 
ideologies about prosperity ideologies about miracles ideologies about responsibility about marriage that are antagonistic to the ways of god the first miracle tonight is to pray i submit my mentality i submit my thought pattern please pray pray from your heart i refuse to be limited there is still a place for champions in life there is still a place for the great but you can never rise above your thought pattern you can never rise above your ideology you may have held on to it for years it's time to probe your ideologies it's time to probe your ideologies it's time to re-examine your mindset let this mind be in me that was in christ jesus the mindset of victory i don't see defeat in my life i don't see defeat with god i am unlimited with god i am unbeatable with god i am a champion ay, 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 ay. pray rejoice not over me my enemies for though i fall yet i will rise again hallelujah hallelujah prayer point number two you are going to challenge that spirit of laziness are you getting my point fear and laziness let's combine it together say after me in the name of jesus i challenge every spirit of fear for god has not given me the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind therefore i declare that fear is banished from my life i refuse to fear and i challenge laziness from today i receive the grace to be diligent no more laziness it's time to take action lift your voice and begin to pray time to take action 2015 time to take financial steps 2015 time to take spiritual steps 2015 time to take intellectual steps Go ahead and pray. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I cause the spirit of fear, fear of death, fear of past failure, every intimidation. Inside and outside, pray. Pray. I cause the spirit of fear. I cause the spirit of fear. I'm a champion. I can make it. I can break barriers. I can break barriers. I am well able. I am not weak. I am strong in the strength of the Lord. And I cause laziness. I cause laziness. Laziness to study the word. Spiritual laziness. Mental laziness physical laziness hallelujah last prayer point as we pray this prayer point my goodness
I already sense the power of God in a mighty way. That's right. As we pray, this very prayer point, the healing power of God will begin to move. Hallelujah. I'm going to request those who are sick, those who came specifically for healing. You will find your way as, hold on, let's pray first before you come. I'd like you to come believing that you will part with that sickness forever. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Reveal to me. The strategy. For possessing my blessing. Reveal to me. The strategy. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Lord I cry. What is the strategy? What is the strategy? Come on, pray, Koinonia. I cry unto the spirit of wisdom. Show me the strategy for my prosperity. Show me the strategy for my blessing. Show me the strategy for my lifting. Show me the strategy to get the attention of my destiny help us show me the strategy for the church growth show me the strategy for the expansion of my business show me the strategy for five points show me strategy for first class show me the strategy to pass the jump show me the strategy hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. show me the strategy to unlock my marital destiny show me the strategy to unlock my marital destiny pray show me the strategy oh yes the strategy is revealed in the place of prayer in the place of prayer Make sure you are praying tonight. Show me the strategy to open me up to the next level of destiny. Show me the strategy. I'm tired of making mistakes. I'm tired of moving in circles. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. I'm tired of marking time. It's time to break forth. Hallelujah. Begin to pray now and say, God, visit me. We're going to do, the Holy Ghost will do a very quick walk. Very quick walk. Hallelujah. Those who are sick, I'd like you to come up and line up here. Very quickly. If you came here for the miracle service for healing, please come and line up. Ushers, help them, coordinate them. Let's have it very quickly. While that is happening, make sure you write your request. There is a mystery of answered prayer in this house. Make sure, please. If you have not written your prayer request, start writing it. I don't care what the situation is. I'd like you to write it and let's drop it before God. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh mighty God. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you in front, I know you came here because of the testimonies you have had. I want you to know that your situation will not be different. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want you to believe in the power of God. There are certain conditions. Listen to me. There are conditions in this place that are entirely demonic. Hallelujah. It's going to be a fast one. I don't know if we'll have time to take testimonies or not, but because there, I, I really, I really, really need to rush with time and let's do a lot. Please, if we end late today, I apologize in advance. We'll do our best to kill time, but please, wait because God has something to do in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, we give you praise. It's called a miracle service. We thank you for the anointing of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Everybody make sure you participate. Now, if, there, if you have loved ones who are sick, you can connect. You can tell them to connect. Praise the Lord. You don't need to come out for them, but you can call them or do whatever and tell them, look, connect to what God is doing. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Worship team, help us. Praise the Lord. Father, we give you all the praise and we trust you to glorify the name of your son right now. In Jesus' name. Go ahead, please. Who brought this lady? Who brought this lady? Who came with her, please? If you brought somebody, let's know. Please, we are not faking it here. What's, what's wrong with her legs? Who brought her? My dear, look at me. What's wrong with your leg? Huh? You what? There's a wound in my leg. My leg is swollen. Your leg is swollen. I'm looking in the spirit and I'm seeing a charm. Look at me. What what did you say? You sat in what? I woke up. So you woke up and you saw your leg. leg. It's not a wound. This is a charm. In the name of Jesus, I break it. I curse it. Look at me. You've not been able to walk. Oh, I can walk for long. Okay, look at I me. Keep coming out. Look at me. Pause. It's coming out with pause. I curse it. Look at me. Just look at me. Keep your legs. Just look at me. Don't look at your legs. Look at me. Look at me. Not, don't look at the legs. In the name of Jesus, walk. Come. come. Just come. Don't look at me. Look at me. Come. Walk. Come on. Give Jesus praise. Look at what is happening. <laughs> See, she's even surprised. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Can you climb up here? Climb by yourself. It's witchcraft. Don't be afraid. Help her if she needs any help. Okay, come. Move your legs. Just do what I'm doing. Move your legs. Move your legs. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus Christ. I break that power of witchcraft right now. I release that. Come on now, Koinonia. Give Jesus praise. God is healing people in this place. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that anyone that has orchestrated anything for you to fall into in the name of Jesus Christ, this night, I command those powers to be broken in the name of Jesus. My dear, it never returns to you again. And this veil that I see over you in the spirit, I command that veil to go now in the name of Jesus Christ. Give God praise. Help us worship him. Please, let's hurry. Give me in the garden. Hide me from the rain. My God. You are the one who brought him. No, no, no. Talk, talk on his behalf. Let's save time, please. Okay. Our time. Said I have been sick since 1980, 1998. 1998. Yes. Is he hearing what I'm saying? Yes, hearing okay. me. Bless you, Daddy. Thank you. Since 1998. What's yes. the sickness? Liver. Liver problem. Liver problem, sir. Sir. What What are the symptoms? What happens to him? Okay, sir. The baby was swelling. Okay. Mm. I'm going to pray for you okay. right now. Mm. When I pray for you, that swelling will go down now. Now. And you'll be able to walk. In the name of Jesus Christ. I curse that spirit. You are a spirit. Answer to the name of Jesus right now. I command the swollen stomach to go down right now. You see what is happening to you? In the name of Jesus. The heat sensation you're feeling is the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Healed. 
right now. Sir, please come. Because the devil wants to use this and put stroke on you. Um, would you mind if, if I ask you to jump? Will you jump? Okay, just just try. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Just lift it as high as you can. Look at me. Don't look at the legs. Go ahead, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right, let's let's try. Just jump a little. Don't be afraid. Go ahead. Go. Ahead. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now walk, sir. Come. Just walk as fast as you can. As fast as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. You are healed completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I stepped here, I saw this woman tied from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing. Head to toe. And I'm seeing blood all over you. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. What's wrong with her? Um, suddenly, she just grows lean like this. Mommy, There's look no at me. Ache. You will not die. Hold my hands. Just hold my hands. Just hold it. Look at me. Just look at me. Thank you, Jesus. Now I cost this power. Kalabata Kotobaya. Let mama go now. In the name of Jesus. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. I cost that spirit. Let her go now. I lose you. What couldn't she do? Like Parkinson's disease. Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. Walk. Come. 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 Climb by yourself. Come. 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 Follow me. Just follow me, Mama. Look at this. Come on now, Koinonia. Give God praise. Can you lift your hands? See, she's laughing. Try to lift your hands, Mama. Can you lift your hands? Can you lift your hands? Is it Which of the hands can she lift? Okay, go ahead. Lift, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Bring it down. Lift your hands. Come on, Koinonia. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift your legs. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. I cause that spirit. Mama is released right now. Koinonia, give God praise. Let's celebrate what God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that power. Come, I need to pray for you too. Your mother, right? I pray for you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because I'm seeing this thing. If I don't pray for you, it will affect you too. Right now, I curse. Lord, he's a worker in this house. Therefore, I curse that spirit. You are the sister. Lift your hands. If I don't pray for you, you have problem with marriage. You are young now, but we need to pray. This thing is the whole family thing. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. I release you from this act of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ. Salvation returns to this family. Go ahead and massage her legs. Hallelujah. Please, we are going to really, really be fast. As soon as we pray for you, just give room. Usher, start collecting the prayer request. If you have somebody's picture as I come, I may not be able to talk again. And so we'll just lay our hands. Believe God. Believe God that the situation will change in Jesus' name. My God is
an iron in your leg. Oh, that's what stops you from moving. But can you stretch it? In the name of Jesus, Father, careful. Although there is an iron in your leg, in the name of Jesus, may there be a miracle. I command this shorter leg to grow out now by the Spirit of God. Madam, look at me. Do you want to try walking? Uh -uh. I'm not asking you what you have. You came here because you believe God can help you. Is that true? You believe that? Okay, as careful as you can, move your legs. You are, you are related to her? Come. Who are you? Your sister, madam? All right. Don't cry. Don't cry. Please. Come, madam. Do you feel pain? You feel pain because of the iron. It's difficult now for us to... But after I pray for you, can you talk to the doctors to look at your legs and look at the iron? They'll be coming on Wednesday. Okay, fine. Father, in the name of Jesus, we agree that as they come on Wednesday and check this leg, they will remove this iron and she will walk normally. Look at, look at this. Look at what the power of God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse that spirit. Let there be a miracle right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her have a seat. Please quickly, let's, let's save time. Worship team, help us. Let's not have... They will remove the iron, madam, and you will walk normally. In the name of Jesus Christ. I need to pray for you. Yes, I need to pray for you, madam. Because as I'm looking at you, I'm seeing pains. I'm seeing pains. Um, like abdominal pains. And the Lord is asking me to minister to you. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands. Jesus, do a miracle right now. I cause that pain by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please just line them forward. Let them just come forward in the name of Jesus. I don't need to ask you what the situation is. I really want you to believe that. Praise the Lord. I, I don't want you to think that maybe if I don't ask you, it means I don't give value to you. No. It's not even me doing the miracle. Right? It's the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. There are mountains that can stand before people. But you see, that mountain remains only as big as your inability to trust God makes it look. There are mountains. It says time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Men who through faith subdued kingdoms. Not cities, kingdoms. So the foundation, the foundation, please listen. The foundation for biblical faith is an encounter with the word of God. You must find out what he has said about the issue of concern. That is step one to commit him. More on that during the faith series. But it is important. You have no right to lay any claims on anything you have not searched out. Because God limits himself to the provisions that his word can afford. Hear me. Whatever the word of God can afford, God can provide it. Did you hear me? Whatever the word of God can afford, God can pay for it. Whatever the word of God can afford, it is within the sovereign power of God to pay for it. Your first assignment is to find out. I've been barren for eight years. They said I have no fallopian tube. Thank you doctors but they are practicing. And you come to the word of God. And check. And then the Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing. It says your children, not even a child, surround your table. Now the next thing is whose report will you believe? Are we together the trouble is we do not meditate on the word to a point of restful persuasion restful persuasion but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded you don't read the bible like a novel no the entrance of your word eventually as you pay attention to the word let me tell you i know what i'm saying believe me when you study scripture 
with all your heart an activity of the holy ghost begins to happen from those letters through your eyes into your spirit from those letters through your eyes through your ears into your spirit it says so then faith comes by hearing and understanding by the word of god it's not just hearing it's not just seeing when you discover the promises the prophecies the provision your next assignment is to meditate upon the word to get to a point of restful persuasion persuasion that says if i perish i perish but i found it i found my bailout i found it oh they say i must uh, this and that and that and that i cannot have a child i've tried i've been having miscarriages oh men of god have prayed for me they are not herbalist get to the word get to the word father this is your word i commit you prophet isaiah in chapter 38 moved by the holy ghost went to hezekiah and said put your house in order you will not recover from this sickness isaiah was a major prophet when a major man of god with a track record speaks to you it's almost like a done deal but a man used the word of god to change prophecy ah, the words you speak turn things help me that the word of god can veto any prophecy any enchantment any pronouncement yes they said it but i change it yes they said everybody in my family is ss but i found a provision there is a bailout mystery i can't die as i can't die ss it is within my power to change it let me tell you there is nobody that prophesies a nonsense destiny to me i have worked with god enough to know that the keys are in the hands of a man hezekiah turned his face and said oh god remember my sacrifices is it not your word that 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 says how that they that give you know paraphrasing that he will remember you in the day of trouble and remember your sacrifice i have given to your house why should i die like a chicken no assumption you must bring your strong reasons no assumption you assume you will die like a chicken you must bring your your strong reason don't say even god knows as i hear you say as i hear you say many believers want things to happen let me tell you something faith is hard work are you hearing what i'm saying you've got to find it and sit down until the word of god superimposes your doubt i know there is a rent of five hundred thousand to pay the rent is not in the spirit the landlord is alive i know i know statistics says that there are no jobs in nigeria i know there is recession in nigeria but when you find it in the world now listen when you find it in the word and meditate let me tell you what meditation does here's how you know you are finished meditating you are finished meditating the moment you discover your role when you discover the part you have to play you have finished your meditation you meditate until you find a good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life not will you give me what is my part good master what is my part lord what is my part to be healed oh god will you heal me that's wrong prayer that's immature spiritual communication what is my role it is within your power good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life and jesus didn't say no 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 eternal life is cheap no as cheap as salvation is there is still a role you have to play are we together it says the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in thy mouth even the word of faith which we preach right 
that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10 he says and believe with thy heart that God raised him from the dead he said thou shalt be saved for with the heart it says man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto soteria salvation not just new birth unto health unto everything hallelujah your meditation has not finished if you cannot leave that place knowing you're part of the deal there must be your commitment oh lord what is the secret to end circles of failure it's like as soon as i'm recovering from one i'm finding another and then you search in god's word who suffered like me what is the key lord nothing is working in my life no job no marriage no money no peace what should i do oh there are enemies in my life how do i deal with them i've prayed and then the holy ghost takes you to psalms 149 let the high praise of god be in their lips and a double-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon their nobles and to bind their kings with the fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment that is written it says this honor has all the saints ah so my praise is a weapon of warfare this is my own part you shut your door and you begin to praise god like a madman and when you praise god like a madman all of a sudden you put pressure on his integrity the moment you act let me tell you god is not committed to delivering any promise in your life if you have not acted upon it having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete praise the lord so what is your part tonight number one your part is to believe god your part is to believe god don't allow science medicine the intellect to bring you to a point where you now start calculating and say okay now let's be real i know that i have a fibroid i touched it and i felt it is it really going to disappear and you now begin to think the question you have to think is how did it come were you born with it did you swallow it and it went there so how did it come you never question how it grew to be that big but now you are questioning how it will be shrink how it will shrink and disappear we have been trained in an environment that stimulates unbelief you mean i can complete that house by the end of the year Haba, this is October. We've not even gotten to Lintel level. The last person who would have blessed me just said, Guy, Nigeria is hot. Hot for who? Don't, don't generalize this thing. Let's be sincere enough. Persuasion. I believe God. Oh. I believe God. That's why we're ministering. Listen, when you find what God has said, commit Him. Throw away your ego. Throw away your fears and commit God. The Bible says, listen, listen to what it says. It says, in my name, they shall cast out devils. That's what we are going to do shortly. He said it. We believe it. And so we have the effrontery to gather you. And to release a platform for the world to listen. And we give them an assurance based on what? based on his integrity that's why we have a worship team what's the assignment to create the atmosphere for his presence to make manifest because when his presence is here then we know that we have committed him brothers and sisters i want you to come to a point of restful assurance throw away that doubt you know some of you hear what i'm saying and most people when they hear preachers talking like this they look at their dressing they look at everything and say it's not your fault it's because you are enjoying as if the person was born like that apostle is because you don't know the fire that drove me from home to come here believe me i don't care what it is if god cannot solve your problem then we have found a reason for him to not be god
but I believe God previous miracle services it did not happen another word for faith is persistence another word for faith is persistence you will never never stop persisting and claim you have faith no sir Elijah prayed and asked his servant go and check he said there's nothing he would have said ah oh, God I called down fire once what is this one is it that I'm backsliding he didn't even have time to ask that question restful assurance he went back to pray seven times and he saw the cloud like the feast of a man and he told Ahab he said saddle your ass and run I hear the sound of the abundance of rain there are people here tonight trusting God for miracles in your body there are people here who do not even know what is wrong with their situation you are welcome who else will you run to let me just say something when I was when I was meditating and preparing this little exhortation the Lord said the following things to me and I just want us to write it down just three of them quickly number one your action commits my integrity your action not your conviction your action your action at the point of action that's when my integrity is committed so you can believe and not see results faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction faith is not the conviction the conviction leads to faith faith is the action are we together yeah so i look at pastor femi for instance come femi i look at pastor femi for instance and let's assume he's trusting god to heal him maybe of chest pain look at this now he comes out and hands are laid on him and he just looks and he's angry at the next person because he's saying you did allow them lay hands very well it's not the it's not how much hands are laid on you you see somehow we have this understanding you can say i have chest pain and just a touch and then they go and, and you are wondering ah, ah. you would have stayed and touched and gone around and done this now your mind thinks because time is being spent on you it means god is saying something no no the miracle listen the miracle is in your faith it happens at the speed of faith it happens at the speed of faith this guy can have all kinds of tumors and just a touch in fact sometimes it may not even be a touch just your faith like there are people now already who are healed they don't know it's just because you can't go to the hospital it says and as they spake as peter spake these words unto them the holy ghost fell on all day that had him thank you thank you very much are we together it's your faith don't come here and be careless and just sit down no assuming there's somebody you brought here for instance who was who is deaf maybe on one ear or both ears and now it's time to pray and as we are praying and you're just standing you're watching the person oh in the name of jesus if there's any deaf person here be healed and you look at him I are wondering ah, this guy let me concentrate on myself that guy will never be healed he's going to go out like that because number one you are embarrassed to take an action step because you don't want to put your hands in his ears and inform him and say they're about to pray i'll check you your ego is telling you guy don't do this if you put your hands on his ears and you pray and you check him if it doesn't happen you will turn with your shame and hold him there that's exactly why the person will walk back and not be healed are we together they mention is a case and it looks like an embarrassing case you've been healed go and check yourself and you're wondering you are sitting down there and wasting your time and then you run later after service and you come and say hey, Jimmy sorry oh, don't be embarrassed do you know that when you were mentioning somebody with pile is me oh I, I you saw me Abby just quickly pray for me you are joking because you see the result is waiting for action immediately please get this thing the Lord told me this that I should tell us your action commits my integrity as they went he said go and show yourself to the priest as they went as they went 
as they went the woman said to herself with the issue of blood if i may but touch the hem of his garment do you know if she just stopped there talking with herself she would have gone back home with her issue of blood but then after speaking she still pressed at the point she did it there was a miracle number two this is the second thing god told me and i don't want to believe this applies to koinonia let me be wrong at least but i don't want to believe this applies to koinonia but i believe this applies to other people this is what god told me stop mixing god and any other god like traditional gods native doctors that's why i say i don't believe this applies to koinonia but i think that this is the unbecoming of the church in africa on sunday you are with god are we together on monday or tuesday you now quickly run to your village and they tell you there's somebody the guy is not exactly a herbalist he's not exactly a pastor he just has this gift you cannot mix let me tell you something god has said give us psalm 16 psalm 16 verse 4 give us verse 4 psalm 16 verse 4 i want you to read the a part one to read their sorrows shall be multiplied that do what that hasten after another god that's what i was looking for what will happen to them their sorrow it will look let me tell you please hear me i've never gone to a herbalist but i've ministered to plenty of people who have gone to them you will never get a sustainable result from a herbalist but it's my father that said we should go as a family well i know that there is a limit to which you can control that but i'm telling you you can insist and refuse the bible says there are sorrows i know what i'm saying in africa many people who say oh, these people they are just young people they don't know what they are saying the bible says their sorrows shall be multiplied that do what that hasten after another god so you have something he tells you to put in your pocket before you sleep I don't care whether they ask you to read Psalm 1 or read Psalm 100. For as long as there is a genie and a charm in your pocket and you put all kinds of things and you have to get up, do something demonic, the man is telling you, go and buy a goat. Are we together? You buy a goat, they slaughter it, they turn the blood and they say it's done. Just be praying. Just because he said just be praying does not mean it was of God. amen i have discovered let me tell you something i have discovered that most people run to god as a last resort you go to a doctor if a doctor does not work then maybe you go to a few men of god here and there after they all jump and gyrate and nothing happens somebody will just tell you sorry i wanted to advise you but you know i don't want you to think i'm a bad person but if you are serious i can take you somewhere you see yourself going to zaria city i said don't be afraid though that's how the man's face is that, run away run that's how it is. you go there the before any discussion you are dropping consultancy fee you know i've told you here koinonia hear me money and miracles don't go hand in hand bring money let me pray for you you can sow a seed expecting a miracle you can be challenged to commit yourself but where somebody says the price for this pregnancy is twenty-five thousand, and i'm just doing it for you and your wife if you ever get pregnant it was the mercy of god remember when the gentleman saw the apostle with the power to lay hands on the sick and he offered money what did he tell him he said your money perish with you for you think you will buy the gift of god it's not for sale it's priceless so stop mixing god and witch doctors you cannot mix god and witch doctor are we together if you depend on god depend on him if you depend on a herbalist, depend on him. But don't mix them. 
you know one time i was counseling a very dear a dear lady who now this is by no means being sarcastic on any family but i was counseling a lady who told me that she went somewhere and they gave her razor to eat razor and to her shock it didn't injure her razor like sharp razor you bring out gillette razor and now open your mouth throw it in she was scared to death but i tell you she broke that thing finished it and swallowed it no sign of blood they are mediums right they are mediums i can guarantee you that lady's life will never be the same from that day now the challenge with these kind of people is they just come and say ah now i will never be involved in those kind of things again lord my hands are washed they think that's all to it they think they are free so somebody says i want to get married to you two weeks he says i don't know what is wrong but the day i said i'll get married to you somebody warned me and say if i catch you near my wife again so the person gets up and says i don't want trouble and before you know it the lady is 40 41 no marriage she loves god she's serious are we together now but she believes that everything is or no it's not just like that too. that's why god puts meetings like this to set people free i don't know what your challenge is tonight but i want you to know that the god of all flesh is in this place tonight will be a night the Lord spoke to me and I said it to us that it will be a night of massive freedom and deliverance. There are, there are people, honestly, who are going to stay on this thing and force some spirits to get out of the lives of people. I learned early in life that spirits are behind the sufferings of people. Never confuse physical conditions with the influences of spirits. They may manifest as different things. But I give you a guarantee there are spirits behind them. You are not just being hated for nothing. You are only one out of seven billion people. What makes people hate you? Everywhere you go, they hate you. There is a spirit. It says, for as a body without a spirit is dead. There must be a spiritual cause for that physical problem. And tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever will not let you go must leave you. There are people carrying all kinds of plagues of bad luck and disfavor. Hear me as I'm speaking to you. Do you know it's not everybody you see suffering that is lazy or bad or unserious. There are well-meaning people. But these powers just sit on your destiny and say we will not go. Because it does not take discussion. It takes the power of God to put them where they belong. Are we together there are some of us who have never experienced the favor of god you have had it in the lives of people you have clapped for other people but you've not seen it in your life if your uncle or your father or your mother is not there to help you you think you are finished because in your mind every time you are praying and say god visit me what you mean is please oh god help edge me to be the one to visit me but when that favor is on your life and those demons clear off the way, you'll be surprised. Hear people saying three jobs. Three jobs. Waiting for someone at this time. Now the question I want to ask you before we pray is you came with a challenge. But do you believe? Do you believe that God can give you a testimony? That's my first question. No, 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 no. Don't answer me. Do you believe? Please, don't, 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 don't just assume you know what I'm saying. I'm speaking from my heart. You are seated outside. You are seated in the overflow. You are following online. Maybe in another nation or in another place. Do you believe that God can step in? That's number one. Number two, do you believe that God can step in now? It's one thing to believe God will step in. But do you believe God can step in now? Or are you saying, oh God, my eyes cannot see well. But even if it's one that starts seeing, I'm grateful. You see, it looks like it's faith, but it's not faith. It's just an advanced form of unbelief. 
Lord, I hold on to you. I don't know what you will do with me tonight, but I believe you. And every instruction that comes, I believe. Are we together? When prayers, when we're about to pray, and we tell you every spirit that is disturbing anybody, you don't just stand and, and you are waiting for somebody to be shouting and falling, or you are waiting for yourself to fall. No. Your heart is open. You are praying. Time to release your prayer request. You don't just tell the ushers, let me drop my own, and you drop it as if it's... No. You are dropping it and waving it goodbye. And saying, I dropped it because you will never return to me. Listen, there is an attitude. The miracle is in the attitude. Not just in the act, the attitude. Lord, as I drop this request, I wave you goodbye. I cannot drop it and write it again next year. Next, next, next month. Are we together? You are coming here trusting God for an impartation and an anointing. You don't sit down carelessly. You are listening carefully. As the word of God is coming, your spirit is open. And that you believe that by the time the grace is shared, I'm walking out of here a different person. Are we together? You came here sick. Oh God, this sickness. I've been praying about it, but today, let me tell you, do you know you can decide the day of your miracle? Mm -hmm. The woman with the issue of blood said today, Jacob held on to the angel, right? And said, I won't let you go. He would have let him go and say, okay, the next time you come, just inform me. You can make it today. When I was praying for this meeting, I said, God, I have one request. Please let everyone that comes here believing return with a testimony. That was my prayer for you. I've done my own part and the grace the grace to produce the miracle you need by the grace of God is available. The mercy of God is here to help you. Your part is to believe God enough and respond in faith. Are we together? Every part of the meeting, God is going to do a quick work right now. But I want you to believe. Please be tired of where you are. Oh God, from January till now, I've not moved forward. I have to be sincere with myself. Give me an encounter that by now, between now and October miracle service, let me return with tears of joy in my eyes. There are two kinds of tears a man can cry. Tears of sorrow and tears of joy. It says you have turned my mourning into dancing. Everything I'm telling you to do is what I'm doing myself. Don't think I just came here empty handed. I came here with my heart full of expectation. I mentioned my own request before God and cried my heart to him. So I, I'm only a vessel, but I'm also a benefactor. Because by and large, I will still listen to this message and I will receive every prophetic word. The trouble with us is you may think I'm a worker. Oh, I'm, I'm protocol, I'm media, I am a minister, I am this and not receive. You see how the leaders in this house, whenever they are here, they forget about anything and everybody's heart is open. That's, that's the attitude. Are we together? Don't sit down arguing and say, Madam, how are you? How do you feel? That's not your business. Focus on what God is doing and insist. The devil, in these kinds of meetings, hear me, Satan waits strategically for those whose hearts will not listen to the word. They are the kinds who will go back and their situations will be worse than it is. Because you see, when these demons and these spirits leave, they have to search for a life for continuity. And you can't stand neutral. There are others who come here. There are probably people sitting inside and outside. You were invited, but your heart is already here cynical. Will God really bless them? All these men of God serve and all this, their nonsense talk. You see, that kind of attitude will not give you a miracle. Don't come to God passively. You must come to him intentionally. Are we together? How many of us are ready to walk out of here with a real miracle? How many of us believe there is a place in the word of God for your case? You believe your case is not new. There is a place for the word of God. How many of you believe that it is within the power of God to wipe your tears? And give you a testimony and how many of you are ready to place a demand by faith please jump up on your feet
and begin to pray rise up on your feet and begin to pray lord i place a demand lord i place a demand lord i place a demand whether you are inside outside i place a demand online i place a demand on your integrity i place a demand on your favor i place a demand on your wisdom i place a demand are you praying lord i've been doing ministry with no anointing i've been struggling in ministry but i place a demand that i will encounter something an unction a grace that will change my life lord my business has refused to grow everything i've tried to do is not working but tonight i place a demand lord i'm tired of this genotype issue i'm tired of this genotype issue lord i'm tired of this barrenness issue i'm tired of high blood pressure i'm tired of pile i'm tired of eye problem i'm tired of using crutches i'm tired of poverty living from hand to mouth i'm tired of failure tired of defeat change my story change my story change my story hallelujah listen hallelujah i want you to take two minutes you are going to cry for your family and say lord as i stand here i represent an altar it's not just me alone the angel of your presence must enter my house tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Oh God of heaven, step into my family. Step into my family. End that cause. End that bondage. The plague of death in my family. Bring it to an end. The plague of hardship. Nobody has a job in my family. End it all, God. Nobody is gainfully employed. Nobody is born again aside from me. Step in, oh God. Step in, oh God. Nobody is making progress. People are just getting old. Nothing is moving. Change my story. The words you speak complete around your house. Pray, pray, pray. Of me, baby, you took away the chain. point listen listen the last prayer point he said give us this day this day not tomorrow lord give me this day breakthrough give me this day promotion mention everything you want and say lord today my faith is for today if your faith says yes god will not say no if your faith says yes God will not say no. Lift your voice and cry. Hey. 
Give me this day healing for my body. Give me this day a new anointing. Give me this day an encounter with the spirit of wisdom. Give me this day direction for the next level of my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me one more prayer point. Don't be tired of praying. Prayer helps you release your faith. Listen. Hold on, please. Listen. Amen. Listen. I want you to pray with all your heart. I told you there are spirits behind every situation. Hear me. I want you to pray in one minute that any spirit behind your seat, leave the situation alone. Don't worry. Don't mention, leave the headache. Leave what? That the spirit behind it, I like you to pray and declare that as God's prophetic word comes from here, that spirit is under arrest is on fire and it must leave. Hey. Lift your voice and pray. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit behind it. Leave the case. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit. The spirit behind failure. The spirit behind delay. I Hallelujah. The devil is in trouble tonight. Rise up, everybody. Rise up, everybody. I tell you, I'm angry, my spirit. Rise up, everybody. We have to pray. Somebody has got to walk out with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place. Bring them out. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. It must be over today. 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 It must be over. There is enough grace, brothers and sisters, to step into your situation. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands, everyone. There is authority in this place, not just power. There is a difference between power and authority. There is authority in this place. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Sabarato kapari kete bashala bakaria da bada da. The Lord is asking me to pray in tongues for two minutes. Hear me. And while I pray in tongues, me, while I pray in tongues, I want you to bring all those under the anointing. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Father, let your word go forth. I put the word of God on my prayer. Shebarete seda da da bakata, lekete prekete bash, dakarete tesh, dakarete tesh, dakarete tesh, shabarete ba. Inside, outside, lekete prekete bash. The word of God is upon this prayer. Repeke teke 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 teke. 
Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. You must be free. You must be free. You must be free. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. Right now, in the name of Jesus, every spirit, every covenant, every altar standing on your way to the next level in the name of Jesus right now I command them to leave you 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 now every spirit holding your destiny every spirit holding your destiny every spirit holding your destiny leave them now in the name of Jesus lift your hands at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus I'm seeing a sword in the spirit and on that sword I see something like a chain and on the chain is written stagnation in the name of Jesus lift your hands you may not even know this affects you at the count of three as you shout Jesus many of you will be surprised what will happen to you inside outside online let that spirit that has changed your destiny in one place as you shout Jesus I command it to leave are you ready now one two three I command stagnation go now go now go now go now, go now. stagnation by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost stagnation leaves your destiny stagnation leaves your life stagnation hallelujah I'm speaking to someone right now whose life has refused to move forward I don't know who you are but every time you want to make progress you have dreams and in those dreams you see things holding you sometimes you see chain the Lord is asking me to release you wherever you are right now I stretch my hands I set you free I set you free I set you free I set you free hallelujah we are still praying they must let you go parato soto barikete ladies lift your hands sisters lift your hands i want to pray for you from my heart something is about to leave you now sisters lift your hands kalandera tokotosia every covenant that anyone is under here please hear me knowingly or unknowingly that has tied any lady's destiny right now ta, 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 ta. in the name of Jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you 
and burn that covenant to ashes any ungodly alliance any covenant that has tied your destiny are you ready now ladies one two three shout jesus be free be free be free be free be free, be free. inside and outside I break it, I break it, I break it, I break it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I saw something fly above. And the Lord said, it's the spirit of death. The plague of death. There are families here. Every year, someone must die. Every Every year, somebody must die. There are families here. Every season, somebody must be sick. I want to end cycles. Death does not just mean cessation from living. Cycles of repetition lift your hands everybody this one will affect a lot of people please open your heart hear me many of you may not have observed that there are cycles of repetition that happen in families cycles of repetition lift your hands the ministry of angels at the count of three with all your heart I want you to shout Jesus and watch what happens to you. Some of you, as you shout Jesus, you will have an open vision, literally, and you will see things that have happened in your family, and God will bring you a word of deliverance. Are you ready now? At the count of three, Father, back up your word. One, two, three. Spirit of death, I arrest you. I arrest you. I arrest you. I arrest you. Circles of death. Circles of death. I arrest you. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Cancel everything. Challenge every spirit. 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 Challenge every Challenge every spirit. 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 Challenge every Challenge every spirit. Go, 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 go. Challenge every spirit. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to be fast. But I'm going to walk around. There is a reason why I walk around. Listen. You don't have to touch me. But let me tell you, as surely as the God of heaven is in this place, when I come close to you, if there is any spirit that is holding your destiny, it must leave you. Believe me. Believe me. There is an anointing. You don't have to make the place rowdy. I'm going to walk through this road. I will come back here and I will go outside. Let's see how much we can do that very fast. Please, let your heart be open. You don't have to touch me. I'm telling you that any spirit, any spirit, I stretch my hands here. Any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every 
Every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, go, 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 let them go, right now, right now, right now, let them go, every spirit, every spirit, those of you outside here, yeah. as I walk through the crowd, yeah. any spirit, any spirit, lift your hands, lift your hands. I'm going to walk across you when there is any spirit under fire right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit. Every spirit. Every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, right now you must go, 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 right now, right now, every spirit, I doubt anyone, you must go, those of you outside sorry about the sound i'm about to walk here listen you don't have to touch me i assure you by the god of heaven by the anointing of the holy ghost right now right now be free i'm passing your role the anointing is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you, the glory is upon you. Be free 
now. Be free now. As I pass you, God is touching you. God is touching you. God is touching you. Hallelujah. Now there's someone here. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. There is someone in this vicinity. You had a dream three days ago and you saw me praying for you. Three days ago, exactly three days ago. Who is that person? Came here, the spirit of the Lord told me to pray for the person. Please, who is that person? Let's pray. And then the second, don't, don't come here, please, if you are not the person. The second person I want to pray for. There is someone here, you've been having severe abdominal pain. Right here. Right here. You are a lady. This pain has been too much. Right here. Please, who is that person? I want to pray for you right now. You're the, okay, stand here. I want to pray for you right now. You came for a miracle service. Lift your hands. I use them as a point of contact to pray for everybody here. Anyone here with any strange pain. Ah, look at, I look at this lady and I see a spirit. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that pain to leave right now. Go, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone. I don't know what it is about this role. But there is someone, your family has gone through repeated cycles of losses. This is financial losses. For a while, I don't need to bring you. God is going to bring you out right now. Lord, whoever that person is right now, that's the person I'm talking about. A miracle comes for you. A miracle comes for you. I'm seeing a lady here. Looks like a small girl. You see spirits in the night. This is like witches. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is bringing deliverance for that person right now. Right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is bringing a miracle for that person right now. Right now. Right now. Who is by the name John? There's someone outside here ministering to those outside by the name John. 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 Who is John, please? Are you John? Your name is John. Ah. There's another John. You are wearing Nigerian shirt. John, you are wearing Nigerian shirt. Is there someone like that? Do I know you? Stand here. I need to pray for you. Because I'm seeing something on your head like madness. Can we have this? Okay, thank you. Those outside, listen. In the realm of the spirit, whether you are inside or outside, believe me when I tell you this, it makes no difference. The only thing we have to lose, you can see I'm talking outside. God is still touching people inside. That's the same I can be inside touching you. Don't, don't think because you are standing far. You have a disadvantage of sound. But that's the only disadvantage. It's not a disadvantage to your spirit. Are we together? Look at me. Where are you coming from? From Quara State. Quara State. For this meeting? No, I'm a student in ABU. Oh, you are a student in ABU. I'm, I have to pray for you. I'm seeing somebody reading. And all of a sudden, he starts talking like a madman. Just from academics. And this thing I'm seeing is witchcraft. I hear what I'm saying. I, don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I don't know who is trying to protect anything while you are studying here. But in the name of the God of heaven, please hear me. Because while you are studying, somebody else is hoping you don't pass. But I lay my hands on this gentleman. I use him as a point of contact to anyone here. Whoever has planned anything against you, it returns back to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. All of you in this overflow, this very one, please lift your hand. Sorry again about the sound, but I want you, don't mind, just lift your hands. The Lord is telling me in seven days, please hear me. There are five people here in this room. In seven days, God is going to give their families dramatic breakthrough. Listen. I will not touch you. The power of God will locate them right now. One. That's one. Five of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to bring them out. Seven days. I stand under this prophetic and apostolic voice. And I declare miracles 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 bring this little girl for me bring this little girl for me come sweetheart 
let her not fall here hug me come the lord is saying i don't know what family this girl comes from but the lord is saying he's giving that family favor right now favor for this girl's family favor for this girl's family favor for this girl's family i'm seeing a final year student here you've written your exams you thought you've graduated but i'm looking now and i'm seeing two courses and the lord is saying we should change it i don't know who that person is here this book. i stand in the name of jesus the son of the living god and i prophesy as the lord has spoken to me we change it now we change it now help them we change it now i want you to believe everything god is doing here believe everything god is doing i'm looking at a family of seven people no marriage and god is saying arrest that spirit i'm seeing another family of four ladies no marriage i don't care who wait you don't have to come father i pray i'm standing here it doesn't matter where i stand i'm speaking to everybody right now in the next one minute all those whose family has been tied down maritally fire is coming upon those spirits right now right now right now in the name of jesus be free be free be free completely free be completely free be completely free the lord is showing me something i'm looking at this woman and i am seeing your children i know she may not i i, I don't know if she understands him or not but i'm looking at her and the lord is saying i should wait with her when it's time to go in i should carry her and meet her two children inside that's what god is telling me that i should carry her someone ask her ah. evelyn 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 and who okay they are inside evelyn and mercy hold on because i looked at this woman and the lord is saying he wants to visit the woman and then the lord told me that two of her children are inside that when i'm going in i should hold her and take her inside and minister to that family i use this woman as a point of contact you keep hearing me pray and repeating myself it's because there are spirits that don't want to let people go they must go tonight gentlemen look at me look at me tap guy it's your season of breakthrough i know that you hear a word like this and think i'm joking until you hear the testimony it's your season of breakthrough in the name of jesus christ mommy let me talk to you please come the lord is saying i should tell you you hear how sama you can speak english no no i need to tell you what i'm saying in house yes that he's going to wipe in such a way that you will forget the pain of the past i don't know who you came with but i'm prophesying to you mama go and write it this thing will happen you will come back with a testimony see when a prophetic word comes on you i want you to know that the end has come there there are thousands of people here if god locates you don't don't sit down you are doubting is it really god no 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 mama for your children where are they come did you tell me because uh -uh, mama let me talk to you i'm prophesying i need to pray for this person because i am seeing god doing a miracle for him this gentleman huh where is he abuja. he's in abuja yes. what's he doing he's working for somebody and they are not even paid. mama let me talk to you that's why i'm talking to you you see this person go and tell him by november a job is coming for him i will not stand in the open you are in zaria here so it's not like somebody they ship somebody to come and stage manage i'm saying it in the open go and tell him my brother i want to pray for you there's delay in life come and stand here someone will look at you and think everything is all right but if i don't pray for you a time will come you will be really frustrated there's a photographer here that things are not working for where are you god wants to change your story I don't know if you're a photographer or something please you see i told us let's cooperate i want us to finish very fast there is a photographer here i'm not guessing you are here things are grounded who are you make sure you are not lying not country you photographer business huh somewhere at northgate at northgate 
and nothing is happening. Do you love God? I have to pray for you. Because I'm looking at somebody who stood. You had a quarrel with somebody over snapshot and the lady cost you. This is what I'm seeing. That lady you see. Uh, well, I'm not, I, I, it's not like I'm indicting people. But that lady you see, it's not everybody you see that is a normal human being. That lady cost you from that day. Things will dry up. You have, it's, it's not like you are careless. But if it takes a person to speak a word of a curse, it takes a higher anointing to help you. Hold my hands. Return back to your glory. I prophesy to you right now. In the name of Jesus. My brother, let me pray for you. Jesus is truly the answer. You see, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, you can be suffering for decades, but when God decides to step in, that's the end of it. He just helps you. Praise the Lord. When he steps in, I'm hearing Joss. Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. The Lord wants to give that person a miracle. You came from Joss. Please, if that person is here, let me. Who? Ah, this mama again. We've prayed for mama now. Oh, from Joss. I'm going to pray. Ah, ah, no, now I will pray for her, but. No, I'm not saying your state of origin. You came from there. Not that. You came from, I know Sarah, I'll pray for you, but there's somebody else I'm seeing. Who is that? Sir, you're welcome. You came from Joss, sir. Are you a family? You too, you came. That is, sir, you came from Joss. Where in Joss? I'm with the University of Joss. You're with the University of Joss. I, I have to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who has been cheated. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Sir, you came all the way from Joss, University of Joss. You're a lecturer? You're a lecturer with University of Joss. Why am I seeing you not promoted? Well, I changed from I was lecturer to the university. The system is not I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray for you because the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that he's stepping into your life and he's giving you a miracle. waste your time sir ah, i'm seeing you writing like i don't know if it's a this is like um uh, like a publication this is what i'm seeing this is a publication and a prof a prof is going to help you and god is going to honor you with that publication you no know, there are many publications to write but you will return back this will happen like a dream the way god is going to wipe your tears praise the lord yes please Here. Don't worry, Daddy. I'm going to pray for you. We've not prayed for the sick yet. Are, are, we, are we together? I'm going to pray. When it's time to pray for the sick, I'll lay hands on you. Yes, sir. I'm seeing there's a corruption in your blood, and God has to cleanse you completely. Yes, so that you will not die. Don't be afraid of death and be thinking I will die and leave my family. Ah, uh ah. -uh. God is still alive. He's the same God who was there for you. Hallelujah. Sir, just this prophetic word for you that God is going to lift you. I'll come back to you when I'm praying for the sick. We're going to pray for the sick now. My dear, hold my hands. I'm seeing you climb a ladder, Sarah, and the Lord is saying it's time for you to stay on that ladder. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. And the Lord is saying, let her climb and not come down. Therefore, I lay my hands on you and I prophesy that it's a new season. In the name of Jesus. There are two ladies inside the main auditorium. The power of God is coming upon them right now. The power of God is coming upon them right now. They are inside. The Holy Ghost is, a, is, a, is like a volcano. It's like an anointing. Two of them inside. The Spirit of the Lord is coming upon them heavily. This is breakthrough that God is bringing. Sir, you wanted to talk to me. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me what the issue is. You understand? 
if we say that you see we'll not be able to attend to other people and it will not be fair do we all agree so i must not mention your case just believe me please have the faith that god is going to touch you i came out like this to encourage us so that you don't feel i am there it doesn't matter where you stand just for coming to this ground alone the power of god is there to touch you Augusta, come let me for you this in you come I have to pray for you. I'm seeing the spirit of death. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Who brought this guy? Can I, Gina? Can you hear me? I have to pray for you. This is the spirit of death on you. And the Lord is saying I should set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. And I command that spirit of death to leave you and go forever. The name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus father I lay my hands on this gentleman be free right now in the name of Jesus hold my hands darling I, I is it your sister why are you here you came from Joss too where in Joss to the water shout Jesus as loud as you can Ebezina Chukunansi Where is the mama that was here? Uh-uh, there was another woman who was standing here. Please bring her. Be careful with this, our elderly ones, please. Come, let's walk there. Lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Who is this? Who brought him? What's the situation? The father is inside. We're going to pray for the sick now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm seeing charm against a family. And the Lord is saying, let it end now. I don't know where that family is. That charm, that charm. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Mama, where are your children? Where are the children of this woman? The Lord gave me a word for them. You should have been ready now. Are they here? Please, so that we move to the next scene. I want us to finish here on time. I want us to finish here on time. Are they here? Where is her sister? Under the anointing. Hold on. Please, I'll just minister to her. We don't have time. Mommy, hold my hands. I look at you, mama, and I'm saying, just leave the children to play. That's all right. If they shout, those ones are children. Let them play. They are receiving something as they are all playing, I'm telling you. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. You. Out of him, now. Mama, I lay my hands on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. What do you want God to do for you? So I want God to give me a child. To give you what? A child. A child? Yes, sir. My God. Your child? I am, I'm barren. Mm. Mm. Ah. My God. 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 Mama, how many years? Ah, uh, I cannot say, sir. Go ahead. How many years? There's a reason I'm asking you. Ah, uh, it's long. Can you remember? Since I was born, I have never given birth. Uh, Since you were born, yes, you are sir. married. Yes, sir. You've not given birth. How many years have you been married? Five, five. 
25 years. I prophesy to someone here from the depth of my heart in the name of the God who sent me. I say it. I prophesy from this woman has touched the core of my spirit in the name that is above all names. I place a demand on my office, not my faith. My office, not my faith. My office, not my faith. And I pray in the name of Jesus. Anyone under any cause, whoever placed that cause must die. I say it again. Whoever placed any cause, whoever placed any cause, I command the ground to open and swallow that person. I say it again. Whoever placed any cause against anyone, shake it, 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 shake Whoever placed any curse on anyone, may the earth open and swallow that person. Mama, where is your husband? He's not here. 25 years. You will think, me, I thought that what, this was one of her children. Mama, lay your hands on your stomach. Where is your husband? Not here, sir. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm not asking you whether you have faith. Look at me. Look at my eyes. If you believe I am sent from God, in the name that is above all names, carry your child. Ah! Carry your child. Carry your child. Carry your child. Go and return with a testimony. Mama, hold my hands. I take away sickness from your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for two of you. Hold your hands. Please lift it. Let's hurry up. As I lay my hands on both of you, the grace for supernatural favor, I release it upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to hurry up. Please bring out your prayer request. Pass them to the ushers. While you are doing that, all those who are trusting God for healing. Now is your time. Please come out quickly. I want us to be very, very fast. Don't injure the ones who are already here. It's going to be very, very fast. Now all those outside, listen. Those in the second and third overflow. Bring that girl. Those in the second and the third overflow, that means the overflow by the roadside, they can come in. But those in this first overflow, please stand outside. Those in this first overflow, you can go outside so that we'll save time. So that we'll save time. Let me pray for these people. Promise, come. Uh, Benga, come. Kenny, come. Um, Michael, come. Where's Pastor Femi? Come. I'll lay hands on you people. You go and lay hands on those outside. Please, make sure that the people are healed. We are not playing games. This is not just formality. Please, come out. Bring the lady. Out! Release her now in the name of Jesus. I command you, spirit. It's time for you to go right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me pray for these gentlemen. When I pray for them, they are going to go outside. Don't look at them. Look at the anointing that is upon them. In the name of Jesus, that grace. The anointing, that grace. That grace, that anointing. That grace, that anointing. That grace, that anointing. Please, you go. Just pray for the people outside. And Jimmy, please come. You join me. We'll pray for those here. Now, listen. We are going to be very fast. Please, if we don't ask you what is wrong with you, you don't have to say it. Now, let me do something. Please, if you are elderly here, make your way to the front. Please, if you're elderly, make your way to the front. Our mothers, our fathers, so that I can just lay my hands on them and then they can go back. Please, I, please some of you that are coming are not elderly. Please go back. If you are elderly, elderly is very clear. If you are elderly, we know. 
Elderly means you have a grown up child. Please, please, let's save ourselves any embarrassment. Hallelujah. Worship team, you will lead us through a series of powerful worship. Now, if there are your loved ones who have not sent their request, please let them do it very fast because I want us to pray here now. Make sure you drop your request. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Father, I pray for these ones. As I pray for you, I don't know what the situation is, but I'm placing a demand by the God of heaven, inside and outside, that there will be miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Heal the sick, oh God, and let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, please hold my hand. In the name of Jesus. You're the God of wonders. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing As I pray for you, go back to your seat. You're the God of wonder. Amazing Ow. God, Be you're free the now. God of I miracles. I release destiny. I release. Amazing God, say, you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you're the God of Miracle, amazing God, you're the God of wonder. The name of Jesus, amazing God, you're the God of miracle. Amazing, you're the God, say, you're the God of wonder. So as they pray for you, just go back and check amazing yourself. We don't God, have the time for testimony. You're the God of miracles, amazing. You are God, you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing, you are God, you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing, you are God, say, you're the God of wonder. Amazing.
you are the God. Okay. 
God. Your name is Yahweh. I say, Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Hey, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. I say, Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh. Miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. I say, Your name is Yahweh. God, your name is Yahweh. You're the God of wonders, amazing God. You're the God of miracles, amazing God. You're the God of wonders, amazing God. You are the God of miracles, amazing God. You are the God of wonders, amazing God. Amazing God, you are the God of wonders. Amazing God, you are the God of miracles. Miracles, amazing God, you are the God of wonders. Amazing God, you are the God of miracles. Amazing God, hey, amazing, amazing, amazing God. I said, amazing, amazing, amazing God, amazing God, amazing God, hey, amazing God. One more time, amazing, amazing, amazing God, amazing God, hey, amazing God. Miracles, miracles, amazing. You are the God, you are the God. You are the God, you are the God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet, please. Rise up on your feet, everyone. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, shout it. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. That my request upon this altar must become my testimony. Say it again. I decree and declare that my request upon this altar must become Let her go free in the name of Jesus. Must become, must become my testimony. My testimony. No, matter how many, no matter how many, I believe, I believe that, God that God is able to turn them, to turn them into, testimonies. into testimonies. Now listen, I want you to stretch your hands here. Don't ask God, don't pray. Stretch your hands Mention your request. Mention his testimony equivalent. Are you getting the point now? There is barrenness here. I receive my baby. Please, you've heard the testimonies of people. Let me tell you, this is a covenant you see happen. It's not just that we do it. It's something that God said. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Please stretch your hand and begin to call the things that be not as though they were. And watch the God of wonders. Go ahead. I'm releasing my faith with you. Go ahead and pray. Jabarokoto supra tiketi barada. Zige de barata kata barada. Rakata paroto supra tiketi barada.
those online make sure that you follow us we are praying on the request now I don't care what your challenge is I don't care from which part of the world you're streaming and following I want you to know that the God of all flesh we have a covenant of answered prayers in this place and we are praying on your request Father give your people testimonies give them turn around miracles release jobs oh God release marriages release children release ministries release anointings and mantles and graces release revelation from the throne release prayer unction all you can ask break habits break things that tie down the destinies of your people the power that stretch your hands it's an act of faith we spray these things before you we spread them before you look upon them oh god with your grace and your mercy let them say for our miracles supernatural miracles these are faith in your power so father in the name of jesus we decree done in the name of jesus are not angels ministry spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation we receive the ministration of these results and answers in the name of jesus it is done lord exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or imagine in the name of jesus we rejoice with thanksgiving in jesus name we decree hallelujah praise jesus lift your hands everyone hallelujah jesus we believe in you we believe in the word of prophecy the bible says believe in the lord your god and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper you've heard me say it again this for me is the most powerful part of the service i know it doesn't look like it but this is where everybody gets to receive so i want you we're rounding up to shout a believing amen as i pray are you ready now the kind of favor you have not seen i pray for you you receive it in the name of jesus christ the kind of favor that will bring tears from your eyes in the name of jesus may it be your portion may it be your portion in october strange favor hallelujah help them hallelujah hallelujah help them i don't know what the devil has taken from you the bible says if a thief be caught he will pay tenfold i command between now and miracle service october receive supernatural restoration receive supernatural restoration supernatural restoration supernatural restoration everything that comes close to you but your hand cannot touch it you see it you know it should be yours but your hand cannot touch it by faith i connect it to your hand i connect it to your hand by faith every man that says over his dead body for you to succeed may god answer their prayers
you have been moving around in one place you try to move forward but you cannot make progress in october i command your destiny i command your spirit hear the word of the lord go forward go forward go forward go forward, go forward. in the name of jesus whoever has received an instruction to help you but has refused to obey i put their spirits under pressure i put their spirits under pressure they must respond to the word of the lord in the name of jesus the bible says and darius could not sleep he woke up the next day and says oh daniel has your god delivered you i say it again i don't know who must show up for you and has deliberately refused to frustrate you tonight i put pressure upon their spirit everything that is alive grows therefore whatever has refused to grow in your life I command it to grow in October. Yeah. Hallelujah. October has the number 10. And 10 means the end of one circle and the beginning of another circle. I don't know what it is that has refused to end. And I don't know what has refused to begin. I end what must end. And I begin what must begin. I say it again. I end what must end and I begin what must begin. Believe it, believe it, believe it. Help that lady, please. I, I say it again. I end what must end and I begin what must begin. Anyone under the sound of my voice call jobless. Marakoto superatayakata. In the name of Jesus, between now and the next miracle service, I don't know how it will happen, but return with a miracle job. Return with a miracle job. My God gives you a job. Anybody due for promotion and has not been attended to. I don't care who needs to attend to you is a human being in the name of jesus may the god of all flesh compel them to respond there is a cause that makes people poor there are principles people break but there are spirits that help people become poor anything called poverty around your vicinity in the name that is above all names this is the month you will rise above it this is the month you will rise above it hear me all the seeds you have been sowing all the tithes you have been tithing every vow prophet offering that has refused to bring that harvest by prophecy the bible says a time will come when the reaper and the sower it says the reaper will overtake the sower i command that kind of miracle in your life now an answer to your giving speedily an answer to your giving speedily two more prayers the anointing it takes for the next level of your life for every level there is a grace there is an unction i pray for you the anointing that must land upon your head to grant you grace to rise receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now throughout this year your family members have not testified i force them to testify this month I force them to testify this month.
whatever has made you cry you have cried in the secret you have cried in the open and you have said lord why won't this thing work this month let it work this month by wisdom let it work by favor let it work by divine direction let it work god let it must work it must work by the anointing of the holy ghost it must work hallelujah these hands you are lifting whatever has stopped them from holding blessings i put an anointing upon them may they magnetize all kinds of blessings i put an anointing on your hand let it call blessings there is a kind of honor that god can put upon a man that can separate him from his equals in this month strange honor may it be yours strange honor may it be yours everything that has destroyed your prayer life you try to pray and you cannot pray this month you will pray more than all the months combined go take a parata this month you will pray more than every month before appetite for the word of god and appetite for the study of scripture receive it in the name of jesus i pray for every business here in the name of jesus although it is said this recession may this month bring your greatest harvest believe me as i pray for you may this month bring your greatest harvest may somebody see you and just like you i say it again may destiny help us see you and like you no strings attached may someone see your family and like your family listen I believe in the ministry of help many of us don't like it without the help of God you will die like a chicken there are men who are anointed and sent to come and help you when David was in Adulam some people came and helped him I pray for you again your helper may he show up this month may they show up this month helping you to get jobs helping you to connect for marriage helping your business helping your family last prayer point some of you are moving but you are not moving fast enough god prophesied to you that by december some things should have happened you agreed with god at the beginning of this year that by december some of you agree with your husbands and wives and said this is what we agree but it has not happened if you keep quiet that's how december will finish but i agree with you there are still a few months left you are even saying god should do it by the end of december but may he do it by the end of october October will not pass till you carry your testimony. I prophesy preservation upon you. No accident. No death. And in one minute, let's pray for Nigeria. Our time is gone. Prophesy in one minute. We are responsible citizens. We pray for this nation. Nigeria rise and fulfill your destiny Nigeria rise and recover all that was lost Nigeria rise in mighty victory Nigeria rise 
Yes, Nigeria, right. Father, we agree with you in the name of Jesus that you will step into this nation and change everything. You founded this nation. This is your nation. Step in and give miracles in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Our time is gone, but I cannot end this without giving an opportunity. Keep standing, please. No moving around, please. Let's respect this. Very quickly, in one minute, there are people here. You have seen what God has done. And while you were standing watching all these miracles, the Lord began to speak to you and said, Am I not worth having a relationship with? And you've been waiting for an altar call to come. There are some of you, you have a relationship with God, but for some reason, you have left God and derailed. Please, our time is gone. Young and old, especially for those of us who are outside, you are saying, man of God, please lead me back to the cross. I love Jesus with all my heart and I want to start afresh. Wherever you are, please, I want you to run and come out right now. I'm only going to count one to five. Don't wait for someone. God bless you. People are coming. Please clear the way for them. One. Two. Please, quickly, our time is gone. Nina Yesune Bazanko Bazanko Babaya Nina Yesune Bazanko 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 Babaya Three Keep coming quickly Thank you so much for those of you who are out it's the beginning of a new season do not be ashamed of yourself there's nothing to be ashamed of it's like receiving an award lift up your right hand and say after me jesus i love you truly and with all my heart i declare right now please if you're joining them join them quickly and continue with this prayer jesus i believe in you i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that from today i'm a child of god holy spirit come and live in me make me a new person give me a testimony in the name of jesus i break the power of sin over your life i decree and declare that you are free from today i declare your sins forgiven i declare that in the name that is above all names you rise to a new dimension fresh hunger for the things of god in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah now please i want you to follow the ushers two of you gentlemen you didn't pray the ushers will lead you to pray that prayer now everyone please follow the lady waving her hands please make sure you follow her they are going to give you some details and then pray with these two gentlemen they didn't join us to pray so please let them pray it hallelujah god bless you yes by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon, and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye